Got the important things. Water, extra camera, and tripod. Let's go take today's pictures. Good morning, gorgeous ghouls. I'm Amy, the rainy day shopper, and we are working on revising Amy, which means today we are going into that house to tackle that death pile, money pile, sign of a couple of years of a lot of stuff going down, uh, and just not enough time to get to it all because, you know, I was working and there was other things going on. But now this is my full-time job, so uh, I gotta get this stuff listed so that I can get this house turned into an Airbnb. And you're helping me with that because <laughs> it's sometimes a little not, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed sometimes. We're doing fine though. This is day two. Actually, it's technically day three because day two, I did all of my photographing downstairs because I did happen to go to a rummage sale, which you probably saw before this. It happens. So I am going to go in there and tackle today's listings. I have 30 things set up that we're going to take a look at. Ooh, I got to feed the chickens first. Hold on. You want to say hi? Chickabaka poop poops. Come on, girls. Here we go. There you go, Sassy Frassy. There you go, Miss Sally Sue. Where's everybody else? Come on, Dapple Doodle Bug. Come on. Let's go, Goofy. Let's go, Dazzle. You boys slacking today. Oh, there's the other one. Hold on. That one wants some food. The little birds like to come get their seeds, too. I hear you. We'll get over here. Is Dapple laying? Is that the problem? Look at those two little rascals all right this morning is sunny it's supposed to get to almost 100 this weekend and we've been hovering right around 60 degrees maybe 70 for the past you know three months so uh yeah we're having like a 30 degree jump in heat this weekend i may melt uh, it's likely i may melt but that's why i'm gonna get in here in the morning every day get stuff done. I'm a little late starting today. It's seven o'clock because the puppy let me sleep in. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. So I am bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and ready to get some work done. Let's do this. <laughs> Getting smaller Surround yourself with friends Just to walk away Feeling smothered Climb in bed And hide underneath your covers Wonder why your life Keeps getting smaller and smaller Just know I'm with you, babe Just know I'm with you Caught up in a flood, it's never slowing Always growing Caught up in a flood, it's never slowing Always growing Is it time? Time we get going 
Okay, first thing we are listing today, super excited about it, is this Chico's. It's vintage, but it is gorgeous, metallic, and sheer. And I know people say, don't, I sell a ton of Chico's people. There's a certain market that looks for it, but there's also a certain market looking for sheer and metallic. So I'm excited to get this listed. Don't worry. We have messy hair because we don't care. We're working here today, people. All right, next two things are actually two Lane Bryant size 22, 24. I don't know if you can see that with this light the way it is, but that's, we're, we're photographing, not filming. Uh, both of them new with tags. Both of them open crochet and likely from the same person. I got them from the same place. They were originally 60 bucks, this one. And yeah, both of them 60 bucks. So not huge as far as price goes, but I figure someone who might want one might want the other and they're really cute plus they're plus size look at that gorgeous one i'm showing you this stuff because most of the stuff well okay all of this stuff is stuff you've never seen before because i haven't been showing you things for the last year and also this is just what i'm pulling off the pile to list so i thought i'd show you this is gretty zuger zager it's extra small vintage uh this is just gorgeous Look at that lovely scalloped edge, the details on the sleeve. I have sold this brand before. It does have a following, but obviously this is an extra small, so it's going to take a minute longer to sell. I'm okay with that. Ooh. Okay, I almost forgot to show you this one. I don't know. Can you see very well here? I'm not sure how well you can see the color. Anyway, this is vintage... Oh my gosh, look at the gorgeousness of this. So the velvet inlay detail. Oh, so 70s gorgeousness. It's actually Montgomery Ward. Remember that one? I do store all leather stuff hung up just so it doesn't get all creased and disgusting. So this one's going to go back over there until I take it into the storage because I've got a couple other leather things. So I'm not going to make multiple trips. Oh my gosh. Could you die? Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous suede poncho hand painted. From, let's see. It's in Mexico. Gomez denim leather. It's gorgeous. Love it. Oh my gosh, that last piece is so cool. Anyway, this is just a little vintage Karen Scott cardigan. Now, Karen Scott, I wouldn't pick up any modern stuff from her. No, because you can get it at Macy's for like $3 on clearance, even though ThreadUp sells it for $10. I don't know why people buy on ThreadUp. Anyway, some things, yes. Karen Scott, no. Anyway, super cute good condition will blend and very much preppy chic which is still kind of a thing right now uh can picture it with a little plaid skirt and some loafers oh my gosh all right i'm taking photos now <laughs> Choose
Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. pair of black Elos. This is a plus size brand sold on Woman Within or One Stop Plus or whatever. It's a decent brand. Actually, it's a little more expensive for that store. So it's like their European line. I think this is linen. Let me look. Um, but also just the size. I was thinking maybe I'll try them on. Uh, sometimes like Ula Popkin on that site runs super large. Yeah, this is linen rayon blend. Anyway, just shorts, cute, and in a plus size, so can't go wrong. Vintage patriotic goodness. It's navy with little stars on it. I should have listed this last week. It's Leslie Fay Vintage, made in the USA, size 18W. You can see that. Uh, super cute. So many ways to style this. Cute little red cardigan or tank top or band tee. Yeah. All right, this one is a size 22W. It is Scarlet. Don't know the brand. Originally it was $99. Really got it because it's super, just kind of a cool burnout velvety effect with a little brownish tone sparkles, but also just a great plus size dress. It's stretch. So this is going to look super cute and have a lot of, like, isn't that going to be pretty for the holiday season? Anyway. <sighs> Love. Okay, so you noticed I took pictures on the wall of this and then also on the dress form because she is a size 20 to 24, the dress, 3X, and I can't remember, it's in the picture, but the dress form's only an 1820. So I put her on there so people get a better idea of the shape, but she hangs a little bit. She's supposed to be a little more curve hugging. So I took the flat so I can look at them and decide which I really want to use. I'll probably put, put both of them in there and just disclose that. Okay, as you can see, I have a set, a suit, and oh my gosh, vintage gorgeousness. This is Casper for ASL. Casper is something I don't normally pick up unless it's like new with tags and modern. This is vintage though. But the funny thing is, is this says it's made of viscose rayon and 12% linen. So I can call this a linen blend technically, but... I hear all these people like trying on things like, oh, I like natural fabrics. I hate rayon. It just wrinkles so much. Oh, this one's viscose. I like viscose. Same thing. Like, anyway, so it's viscose rayon. Look at the fringe. Oh, holy heck. Now, this is Crazy Horse made in the USA. Now, I don't know if that is Liz Claiborne's Crazy Horse. I'll have to see if the ISBN is there. Not the ISVN. Oh my gosh. The RN number. I'm thinking books. Anyway, beautiful fringe gorgeousness. This is a men's ultra suede laser vintage Joshua Trent Imperial tailored exclusively for Larry's? Jerry's? Not sure. In Nashville. Anyway, it's got kind of that Western vibe. 70s ish, maybe 80s. Oh. All right, we are 
entering the portion of the day when I, cause I got started photographing a little late where I'll show you the picture that I just took that should have been fine and how the light looks. So the lighting in this room, it's really weird during the day. So I can come early in the morning or I can photograph in here late at night. That's one of the reasons why I have a stack of things just because the timing has to be good with light. Um, in the winter, obviously I can photograph a lot earlier in the day, but when it's <laughs> light until nine at night and the light hits the back of this room. So it literally I can't in the afternoon at all photograph in here. Like I could adjust the photos right now and, and make this work. It's going to waste my time to do that. So I am not going to keep photographing right now. Unfortunately, I didn't even get, I don't think I even got 10 done. We'll see. Uh, but it doesn't make sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep, get all the empty hangers that I have filled with new stuff for tomorrow, get this lined up, get the leather put away. And uh, that will be all that we do up here today. That's okay because I already have... I think 30 other photos from last night to process. So I will have more than 50 photos ready to upload today. They just won't all be from up here. It's all right. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some stuff over here. Okay, y'all, this is, we got a good start here. I'm gonna hang up, like I said, the other clothes and I'll show you those in another video. Let me know how you like this format. I just figured let's show you what's going on. You can kind of see the process. I'll of course have sped through up, sped through up. I'll of course have sped up a whole bunch of stuff uh, just because otherwise this would take forever. Uh, but since I can't photograph because the light's weird, there is an estate sale that started at eight. It is now 8.33. I might head over there. We'll see how I feel. See you later, alligators. Thanks so much for stopping by to get some work done. I always do a little better when I know that you're here watching me, making sure I behave myself. Hmm.